And then this person in the past would have done a full basket of tomatoes, do tatashi and all that. Maybe spend as much as 15,000 on just pepper. So yes, the mood is there. People are getting into the spirit of the holiday. The money is however not there but in the midst of it despite the fact that the money is not available um i think nigerians are making the best of what they have and that is one value that is one attribute you can uh, give to nigerians every single day nigerians the group of people who will not let a holiday go by without definitely taking uh you know proper measures uh for the holiday without allowing it to just weigh them down no matter how small nigerians will celebrate all right let's take a quick look at the papers this morning before we begin our conversation we're going to be talking about how to spend wisely this christmas um just as we open up the phone lines this morning and ask you exactly how you've been feeling and uh, for those who are sending messages to us about the senior girl you have a child in secondary school do send a text message to me on 08064738133 or a whatsapp message to the same number 08064738133 nominate that's uh, tell us the name of your senior girl nominate her for the prize the bumper breakfast prize now you have a senior boy as well that you I think uh, is worthy of being celebrated as the head girl of a secondary or a uh, uh, head girl or a head boy of a secondary school. Nominate them, put their name, the name of your school and why you have nominated them. Put that in a, a, a you know text or WhatsApp message and send to us on the bumper breakfast. For parents who are watching, do kindly ask your children to do this. They should know the name of their senior girl or their senior boy, the head girl or the head boy. They should know the name and they should be able to nominate that boy or girl for the bumper breakfast senior prefect prize. Now we will be doing that on Friday, giving out gifts on Friday, and we will announce the winner tomorrow. So you still have about 24 hours to send in your nominations and we definitely will put it out and I guess tomorrow we'll do the honors of picking who the winner is. And for those who are sending your selfie pictures, you've sent me selfie and you have not uh, come to receive your gifts, you can come around today before 11 a.m. Or you come around tomorrow uh, between the hour of um, say uh, 10 o'clock and 6 p.m. in the evening to get your own prize. No matter how little, you get to get something from the bumper breakfast. Now, if you've sent me a selfie, I should have responded to you. But if you've not sent me a selfie, don't come. And if you've not sent me a selfie and I've not used your selfie and I've not responded to you, however, you still have the chance to do so today. Watching the bumper breakfast, just pick up your phone, do a selfie picture and send to us on the bumper breakfast and you get to win a Christmas gift. All right, let me take a look at the stories that hit the papers this morning. The Punch newspaper is where I want to begin from and uh, begin with the Electoral Act Amendment Bill. Oh, my God. Can I just stop hearing this? Uh, senators threaten to override Buhari governors back the president. Buhari's reason for declining assent for Lashio's Senate spokesman. Governor's forum hill rejection of bail, says president's argument tenable. Customers grown as cash trap banks slash withdrawal limits. Uh, bank officials blame CBN for inadequate cash. POS operators lament. Deal with prison attackers in their language. The NSCDC orders their personnel. 10% spending of recoveries by EFCC NFIU encourages fraud. That's coming from the minority reps. Nigeria loses 499.32 billion naira as Twitter ban hits 200 days. Experts knock lawmakers as reps raise budget to 17.12 trillion naira. Now, one interesting thing I'd like to draw attention to, especially about the Twitter ban, is the fact that quite a number of young people, quite a number of people actually make money uh, via the means of Twitter. Tweeting for people, um, you know, um, influencing, um, you know, um, for products and all. And then some people do genuine businesses on Twitter and the bulk of their customer base was on twitter now twitter was banned and uh, let's not forget the fact that the company the country itself is going through economic recovery so what it means is you ban twitter 
there is no money however in circulation and before we know what is happening people are hungry so um, if there's one plea i would like to give to the federal government this season if there is nothing you can do for nigerians to give them a palliative which i know obviously is next to impossible because um, we really do not have the money in the first place if there is anything you can do for nigerians to make their lives a bit more easier 